everyone, welcome. Today's recipe, we're making some balsamic grilled vegetables. Now I'm taking some of my favorite vegetables, putting this together, you can use whatever you like. Um, just to give you a, kind of a brief overview, I'm using some bell peppers and asparagus and some zucchini and onions, just to name a few, but you can use your favorites. And we're gonna just, you know, cook these on the stove. I'm gonna put them in a grill pan and grill them up. And But the best part is we're gonna be marinating these in a balsamic type marinade. And it is really delicious. It's a nice change of pace for our veggies. Maybe you want something different, you get tired of the same old thing. This is gonna really jazz them up. And it goes great with just so many recipes. You know, you can grill up some meat on the barbecue and use this as a side dish, perfect for that. Or, you know, you can, cook your veggies and use them on top of a pizza. Or, you know, like what I did this morning is I, I cooked up some scrambled eggs and just tossed in my veggies so I get my veggies in at breakfast. It was great, delicious. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. Let me show you what's in our recipe. First up, we have some olive oil. I like to use Mia's uh, balsamic vinegar. It's a really nice vinegar. You can tell because it's a little more syrupy as opposed to being watery. That's how you can tell. And I'll leave a link for you if you wanna get some of that down in the description of the video. I'm using Bragg's uh, apple cider vinegar. It's one of the best. We'll need some mustard, Dijon mustard. That's gonna act like an emulsifier for our uh, marinade and just kind of keep things mixed together. Garlic powder. I have my own uh, Italian seasoning. You can, you can make your own, and I'll have a link for you where I've made my own, and I'll show you how to do that. It'll be down in the description of the video or up above. And we'll round it out with some salt and pepper for our veggies. Now remember, you can use whatever you like. So I've got some asparagus, broccoli, I've cut up into little florets, a nice red bell pepper for some color. I have a yellow squash. Over here, I've got a combination here. I just threw in a carrot. I chopped it up nice and you know small so that it would cook quickly. A zucchini, some onions. And over here, I haven't uh, cut it up yet, but I have some basil and some fresh parsley. I like to use those fresh herbs. It just really just tastes amazing that way. And then to finish it off after we're done cooking it, I'm going to sprinkle some goat cheese over the top of our vegetables. Adds a nice creamy texture. I really love that. If you don't like uh, goat cheese, you can certainly use feta. So we'll just add all of our ingredients to a bowl for our marinade. So that's the olive oil. Here's the balsamic. You can see how syrupy that looks, right? You can tell that, you know, that just tells you what's, you know, it's a good quality. The apple cider vinegar. Here's our Dijon mustard. Now I love garlic, so we're gonna toss in a fair amount of that. Here's our Italian seasoning. We'll just put a little pinch of salt in there. A few cracks of pepper. And we'll take a whisk and we're going to blend that up. Now you notice how thick this is getting, I don't know if you can tell, but it is thickening up a bit. Now all we have to do is put all of our vegetables in our dish and hopefully they'll fit. This is a great thing to do if you're having a barbecue. You can set this up ahead of time. You know, you could do it in the morning before, you know, a few hours before. That's actually better because you want to let these marinate for, you know, at least 30 minutes. That's what I'm going to do right now is let these go for 30 minutes. And uh, you can go up for several hours and, you know, it's all good. And you can also use this marinade. This marinade is delicious. It's great for even chicken, um, even beef, just depending on what you want. So I like to take a couple pairs of tongs and just kind of, you know, work it in. So you're gonna to wanna to toss these periodically when you know, you're know you marinating them, just because all the sauce does sink to the bottom of the dish, as you can see, see right down here? It's sitting down there. So you're gonna to wanna to just coat them, just keep turning them. And so after we let this marinate for 30 minutes, we're gonna put them, we're gonna cook these in a cast iron pan. It's time to start cooking. I've got my large cast iron pan over here and you want to preheat it. You want to get it hot. A lot of times people make the mistake they don't start with a hot pan. So I've got had this over medium heat for probably five minutes. Now I'm going to toss in a little water. The water is, you know, dancing all over the place. So it's ready. I'm going to put a little olive oil in here. Typically I would rather use avocado oil, but I ran out. So I'm just going to put just a little bit, kind of swirl it around the pan a little bit. So it's, you know, distributing. 
It's really important not to overcrowd the pan when you're cooking because then you're not grilling, you're steaming. So, you know, I might do three batches with this. So I'm gonna place my veggies in here. I'm trying to leave a little room. I might do four batches, and then I have a dish back here that I'm just going to put my finished product back there and keep it warm. All right, it's been a couple minutes. Things are looking nice. The onions tend to kick up, cook up quicker. Same with the zucchini. So if you find some pieces get, you know, a little more done, like right here. The bell pepper takes longer, so does the carrots, so does the broccoli. But again, when you don't overcrowd your pan, you know, most of these pieces can get on the bottom of the pan and they will cook up, you know, quicker and they'll get those little char marks, which we like to see. Adds flavor, makes everything delicious. Now you might need to add a little bit more oil each time you add your new batch of veggies. And I did drizzle the rest of the sauce that was left in the pan uh, over the veggies. Now you wouldn't do that if you had meat in this marinating, okay, because then you're going to get a problem with contamination. But it's just veggies, so I went ahead and poured it on top. So what's left here is our basil and our parsley. So I, I've got three leaves of basil here and I'm just going to roll them up, stacked on top of each other, give them a little chop. And you know, give them a little sprinkle on top. And just a little bit of parsley, same thing. Give that a sprinkle, and then I'd want to mix it in just a little bit, so I'm just going to kind of toss it in. Last but not least is our goat cheese. Now, of course, it's optional, like I mentioned before. Some of you don't like that, but Man, I love this stuff. Simple, easy dish to make, everyone. Let's serve this up. That's a fantastic side dish, everyone. You're going to love this. It's got a nice balsamic, kind of a, a sweet, savory, you know, a little bit of tart flavor in there. It is delicious. You're going to love it. So if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please do so. You can click the subscribe button right up here at the end or down below the video. Don't forget to click that bell. That'll notify you when new videos come out every week. And if you'd like to see some more videos, I've got a couple for you right here on the screen. Check out right down over there or right below me, you'll see some really delicious recipes and we'd love to have you subscribe. So share the recipes. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.